Covering Atlantic Beach now, where commissioners are considering an idea that is growing popular in certain other cities as well across our area. I mean, despite major opposition from some voters in those areas. Talking about paid parking, and so are city commissioners. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding's in Atlantic Beach this morning. So, what's this mean for people who live in Atlantic Beach? Bruce and Jen, good morning to you both. Now, the city cannot set aside any spots and make them a residence only, but they can uh, set aside some, give, make sure that locals do have a discount. There I go. Sorry about that. But anyway, now that it's uh, bright outside, we can actually see that Atlantic Beach uh, parking, it is up. Obviously, this fills up very quickly. You know, last night's commissioners, they actually had their first major discussion on paid parking. You know, a lot of things are still up for discussion at this point, but one thing is clear, they do want to bring paid parking here. News for Jax has learned 60 to 70 spots at the beach's town center could become paid parking spots. The beach access roads on 19th, 18th and 10th streets are also being considered. And now the hope is to ease some of the congestion in the area. The city would add parking kiosks where people could pay with a card or by app. Now the big question moving forward who will operate these machines? Neptune Beach is moving forward with its own parking program, which would also cover the beach's town center. Unveiled last month, the city would charge $2.50 an hour or $35 a day. Atlantic Beach commissioners talked about having the same rate structure as Neptune Beach to avoid confusion. And commissioners are planning to hold a series of public meetings to get some feedback from the public. Of course, we'll keep you updated when they are set. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.